hello everyone. So uh, often it, uh, these days uh, I have been interacting with quite a few of, with my students and uh, during the course of that and uh, a few clients have also come across to me and they say that they are finding a little bit of issues when they are trying to generate the table of contents and uh, we were trying they were trying we were trying to discuss and see that if we can come out uh, a simple way we can generate doc in a structured or unstructured framework for that matter so what i figured out is uh, i'll do this video which will where i will show you how you can generate a doc and basically apply a few techniques so that uh, the same it becomes a seamless process and you should not encounter any table of content so what I did was uh, for the considering the time and I wanted to give the video a short not expand much um, if you have any questions and all that you can reach out to me on training at bluedotsconsultancy.com so or visit our website bluedotsconsultancy.com so what I have done is that as you can see I have two chapters that I have created um, already with the content that I have put chapter one and chapter two with uh, and I have a book calling the TOC1.FM uh, Content TOC and the, the book is here Framemaker Intelligence so I have already added TOC chapter and all uh, these things here so I go to web Framemaker uh, TOC and I see the TOC looks like this it misses out on the para numbering and uh, the rest of the stuff so what you first of all do is um, go to the opening the TOC page and go to the reference pages now once you are in the reference pages uh, for that matter go to the last page that is on page number seven and here you come here and you will see here para text and uh, um, you know I'm gonna just drag this a little bit here okay so you're gonna keep here in the para text page number uh, thing over here now what you do is that basically we want to have a tab lead in the TOC that I am creating. Now keeping the cursor over here, go to your format and open the paragraph designer or catalog. So you open the paragraph designer and you see that you are currently the insertion point in adding one TOC. So if you see the ruler also, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ruler over here. So that also basically determines where you want to place your TOC lead and all that. So first thing first up, what I do is I go to my basic tab and I decided first of all if you want to give a paragraph spacing and all that give so I'm giving 14 and 14 here uh, 14 here um, doing an update style here then uh, what I want to do is uh, give a tab stop here so you go to here so imagine you are giving a tab top sticks you can give 6.3 or something like that so definitely you can do that so I'm giving 6.3 let's say uh, right alignment should be right and let's select a leader like this so 6.3 okay that point of a time you see this particular thing that's applied now what you do is do an update style after doing the update style what you come here the cursor and just press one tap key on your keyboard just to see if it works fine or not so it does and you can see this works now if you go back here um, back to the basic tab for that matter or font and you decide to make the weight bold also so do that the weight is bold for that matter now do the same thing for heading to TOC also remember I have used only heading 1 and heading 2 in chapter 1 and chapter 2 frame maker files so I go back to my new position of this thing and I give 6.3 write this thing stop ok click on write fine update style and uh, let us say you keep your cursor over here for that matter and press tab key so all right this is fine so uh, before uh, so what you do is now save it go back to your TOC body pages and uh, in the table of contents you see this has not applied just press the tab key to see everything works fine and it does it does and it does so 1122 page number comes all that it is leaving out at this moment of time and because I have given paragraph spacing that's why you see a little bit of paragraph no more headings you have heading one and all that that paragraph spacing exists because of that now you come to your cursor of a place here you don't see the paragraph number 
like the ones that I have here, chapter one, chapter two. This is missing out in the DOC. So what you do here is go back to your reference pages once again and just write, this is important. Uh, if you have already done variables, you will know what happens. So you write here, for example, with a dollar sign, write for example, uh, <coughs> para number and close this and give a little bit of space here. Okay, and save this. Okay, do this here also. Dollar sign. Para number and give a little bit of space. Okay, now you save this. Um, go back to your view body pages and here obviously it will not come so you have to go back to the book level save it and just do an update all right so now you see chapter 1 and chapter 2 has happened so let's say for example you decided to add one more chapter here or let's one more heading here so let's go and apply it for example heading 2 and uh, we write here for example something like personalizing your content your content and some some random some random text you write here go and save it okay go and save it then come back here save it on the book and all that and just do an update All right, now you go back to your frame maker and you see this is updated. So now you don't have to go and reformat and every time do the, you know, and align the TOC once again. So this is a quick short way of how you generate a TOC in frame maker. Just that you have to play around with the reference pages of TOC and it quickly does a good job. And uh, yeah, if you want to uh, basically do a little bit of uh, indent level of this particular thing so that it looks like the heading to TOC comes, you know, uh, you know, it's, 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 in other words, it's a child of the parent element chapter one. So what you can do is that you can go here and give a tab thing. So let's say 0.25 and you do an apply and update style. So you get that also and save it. Okay. So uh, this is a, a quick uh, understanding of what TOC generations can be done. Uh, my students and a few of my clients were having an issue so I thought of making this quick video hope it helps sorry if it wasn't uh, that professional this thing but I give my best shot so hope it will help you thank you